Good everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I got my snowblower. It's a 10 horsepower Tecumseh. And I just put a new carburetor on it and I'm gonna tune it. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Now traditionally, to tune any small engine, it should be under load. But of course with snowblower, it's kinda of hard. Even if you have the blade spinning, you're still not having it on too much underneath the load. So basically what we're gonna do, is on the bottom of this old one here this is your main and then this is your idle your idle mixture screw on the side so in order to adjust it you have to set this one first <clears throat> so you can either turn it in or turn it out either way until it starts to stumble run rough and then turn it the opposite way until it starts to stumble run rough and then put it back somewhere in the middle between the two and then we're going to do the same for this setting right here Put the choke on. Like I said before, to properly set the carburetor, it should be under a load. That way you can set it properly. And you should never set the carburetor on a cold engine. You should warm it up first. Now the default settings on these carburetors, either the main are the idle screw can be anywhere between one and a quarter one and a half depending on the carburetor you got so right now I'm actually moving the carburetor screw quite fast you should move it like an eighth of a turn at a time and then let it sit for like five to ten seconds to adjust and then do it but I just moved it quickly to kind of get the sweep and then go back and then get the sweep again and then I kind of jammed her somewhere in the middle which worked out to be almost dead on to what the factory specs were as far as setting and then you do the same for the idle adjustment which goes through the side of the cover there in case you're wondering that's why it's got a little hole on the side so you can get a screwdriver in there and adjust the idle So as I was saying before, on this 10 horsepower snowblower, the idle adjustment screw is just a hole in the side there, same thing, just kind of adjusting it then flipping the throttle and setting it back down, see how it's going to idle and kind of set it at a part where I think I'm going to be happy with it. And once again, once it gets cold out and in the proper temperature that I'm going to be using it, I'm most likely going to have to set it, the carbon adjustments again. So there you are, all set up. I just gotta wait for winter now. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna be pretty excited to uh, blow some snow this year, winter. Take care, everybody.